Hi Virgo, welcome to your love connection reading for the second half of August. This is Mary and this is Leo Sunlight Insight. Thank you so much for stopping by and watching. If you're new, welcome in. And if you're returning, thank you so much for coming back. And please check the description box below for all the information you need about me, readings, etc, etc. Tons of stuff there, links. Please do go check that out. We greatly appreciate it. Before we get started, just a quick shout out to all my new subscribers. Thank you, thank you, and welcome in. In those um, who have tipped or don donated to the channel as an exchange of energy. Thank you so much for your donations. It really means a lot to me. Thank you so much for your support. And those who have reached out for personal reading. Thank you so much. Okay. Virgo, second half of August. Love connection reading. Let's see what we get for you guys. Hope everybody's doing well. Second half of August. One more month of summer. And then we go into fall. Spring and fall. My favorite seasons. Okay, so this is a zodiac oracle, so we may get a sign, element, or planet energy. We'll see how that plays into your love reading. If you don't resonate with this part, that's totally fine. It's just a sort of little extra bonus to see what some Virgos may be dealing with or have around them. So let's see. Can we have one card? Wow. Wow. That wanted to fly right out. Let's see. Mercury, and that is Gemini energy. So you could be dealing with the Gemini. If not... Or you could have Gemini in your chart. They could have it in their chart. Um, if not, it could be just the energy of Mercury. is all about the mind, thoughts, ideas, communication, um, truth and honesty. Everything to do with the mind, education, um, anything like that. So maybe there needs to be truth and clarity between you and another person. I don't know. Or open, honest communication. I don't know. We'll see. We'll see what's going on for you, Virgo. All right, with this deck here, let's get one to begin with, an overall love energy for you for the second half of August. Have one card for Virgo Spirit, please, second half of August. Thank you. Wow, this is the back. And we have passion, a magnetic, a magnetic and seductive quality surrounds you at present. Enjoy it. So there may be just a lot of passionate sexual energy between you and this person, and maybe it's not going beyond that. And I don't know, we'll see, maybe you want more or whatever, but nobody's really communicating. I don't know, we'll see. So first thing we'll do here is we get one card for you. How are you feeling Wow, about this connection and your person? So we have give thanks for the blessings of love soon to come your way. Know that you deserve to be and have all that your heart truly desires. So... You're really wanting, I feel, more with this person. I really do. I think right now it's just a lot of maybe sex and passion, but the, it's not going any deeper. But, you know, maybe they do want more also, but maybe neither one of you is saying anything because it says, give thanks for the blessings of love soon to come your way and know that you deserve that. So, I don't know. We'll see how that plays out. All right, so let's get one for your person. This can be anybody you have in mind and any kind of connection. All right, so let's get one card for your person, whoever you're thinking of right now for this reading. Wow, wow. Hello. We have playfulness. Laughter is the best therapy. Have some fun together. And remember, love is the greatest healer. So, you know, maybe they're, just, you know, playful passion. Maybe they're kind of a player and you're wanting more I, I, I don't know we'll see we'll see how this plays out or maybe they just have a light-hearted playful energy about them when you guys uh, I don't know rolling around in the sack or whatever you do <laughs> but um, let's see what the bottom of the deck has to say so I'll show you the back close your eyes and tell yourself that you deserve to feel joyful you can allow joy into your life regardless of the circumstances you currently find yourself in. So, I mean, there may be a lot of joy and passion and playfulness and happy times with you and this person, but I feel like some sort of communication here is necessary about this connection. Um, if it's just an in and out energy where you just have fun together and that's it and there's a lot of passion um, and you're wanting more, then maybe you need to speak up and say something Virgo is the hermit in the major arcana so kind of like that energy of withdrawing like you want more but you're not saying it 
So I don't know. It could be you or them. You could flip-flop the energies however you see fit. Um, all right. But how I'm going to read it is this is you, this is them, but you can switch the energies at any time. All right. So for Virgo, second half of August, love connection. Let's get some clarity now. All right. We get clarity for Virgo. Clarity for Virgo. There we go. King of Pentacles. Yep, that's your energy. Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn. You want more. You want something stable um, with this person. Um, you don't want this in and out player energy. Yes, it may be full of passion and playfulness and fun times, but you want more. You want stability. You want growth, expansion. You want something long term. You want this person to really offer you something tangible, something serious, something steady uh, for the long term here. That's definitely our energy there with the King of Pentacles. All right, so let's get one for your person. Why are they just in this playful energy? Spirit, please. One card for Virgo's person, whoever they're thinking of this, of, thinking of at this time. See, tongue tied. So somebody, somebody needs to speak up, say something here. When I get tongue tied like that, usually some sort of communication is needed in a connection. So, all right, I'm getting very hot. So, I feel like there may be a lot of a lot of passion and attraction and uh, chemistry between the two of you. Well, ten of pentacles. So they may want more too, but maybe the t between the two of you. Uh, afraid to say something here you know maybe they're afraid to say something um or maybe i mean ten of pentacles here so and this is your energy so uh, virgo taurus capricorn so this is um total abundance uh two people coming together sharing everything having uh growth you know abundance prosperity the happy home and family the entire family from the grandfather to the children grandchildren stability and growth never have to worry you know finances are fine every everything is fine with the ten of pentacles wow you both like have the same energy hmm okay so i don't know let's see what the situation is now what wow, temperance nice queen of wands in the eight of wands all right so Sagittarius, and then we have fire again with Leo Sagittarius Aries, and then we have the Eight of Wands. So I definitely feel like here when you're in the King of Wands energy here, you're really standing your ground or you need to and communicate. If it's not going further and you really want that offer and you want to stabilize this relationship, I think they want it too. But for some reason with the Mercury, I think that's just the energy of there's going to be some truth, communication conversations uh, needed in this connection because you have temperance here and this is Sagittarius so they could be a fire sign you're dealing with if they're not Gemini um, we have three fire cards here so they could be Leo Sagittarius. Aries so now here's tempering out the energy here balance tempering having patience with one another healing energy and that's connected to you so you definitely want balance in this connection you know, you want healing energy, you want, um, you, you know, you're willing to be patient with this person, you're willing to take it slow, pentacles are very slow, and temperance is about having patience. You do have the patience to take it very slow with this person, but you want long-term, I feel, commitment with this person. I feel like they want to give you that with the ten of pentacles there, because between the two of you is the queen of wands. So this can just be energy. Or it could be your person's energy. It could be a fire sign. So definitely here, a lot of fiery, passionate energy exactly here with the passion. And, um, you know, very exciting, adventurous, go-getter, uh, take charge kind of energy. Goes after what they want. Very successful, energetic. So that's connecting the two of you. So... You know, if your person is a fire, you know, if you're a male watching this and your person is a female fire sign, it doesn't have to be. I mean, it's just energy. But yeah, a lot of passion between the two of you. Wanting success, things going forward, being very ambitious. 
And then you have the Eight of Wands, fire energy connected to them. So they do want to communicate this to you, that they want this Ten of Pentacles with you. They want to offer you what you deserve, this offer here that you're hoping and wishing for, I feel. So there is passionate communication, a lot of passion between the two of you, a lot of ambitious uh, go-getter kind of energy. And here's the energy of balancing things out and healing and patience. And, you know, this is the angel that brings the soulmates together. So, yeah, I think communication here over the passion, even though this is all this passion and desire, communication here will balance out this situation. So somebody here needs to communicate. I don't know. So let's see what your advice is, Virgo. The lovers, oh my God. And the page of cups. <laughs> my God, Virgo. Gemini, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. You, I feel, are going to have to be the one to come forward and say, I choose you. I believe, you know, you're the one for me. We're meant to be. I choose you. I want you. I want you to myself. I want to, you know, be your one and only. You know, I have love. I have passion. Here's the communication. Here's the loving, affectionate uh, love offer here. And choosing this person and telling them that, that you want to be their one and only. And here's, and I had said, here is Temperance Angel bringing the soulmates together. And the lovers is the soulmates. Wow. Spirit for conf ah, confirming that. Yeah. I think you're going to be going to have to be the one here, Virgo, to come forward to um, balance out this situation and say, look, I know we have passion and playful times, you know, but I think we need to either commit here or take it a step further or whatever it is for you, leveling, leveling this up a notch or whatever, being just, like I said, committed to one another or whatever the situation here. That's your advice, Virgo. Crosswatcher, if you're watching, this is probably your advice. So this reading may be for you and not the person you're watching for. So let's see what the possible outcome could be of this, Virgo. The two of cups. Oh, my God. Virgo. <laughs> soulmate, soulmate. Twin flame energy. Passion. Fire. The queen of wands. Wow. So here is the two people coming together. You come forward with this message. I want to be your one and only. I want to be your only lover. I want to take it one step further. I want a commitment. I, you know, I just want to be, you know, just be with you and that's it. And then here's the two people coming together as one. Soulmate union. Committing to one another. Sharing love between one another here. Divinely guided. Balancing out your energy with the balance. Heal. Wow. Soulmate energy coming together here. Wow. I don't know why if you both feel this energy of like, you know, there's a lot of stability, growth, expansion with the two of you wanting to work on it long term, wanting to really commit to this person. The pent pentacles are about commitment long term, but, you know, the mercury communication needed and over here communication, need, why nobody is coming forward. I don't know. So let's get more clarity. Well, Virgo. There's the offer. There's you wanting that offer, holding the offer, waiting out for them to bring the offer. Here's the offer coming in. So you got the Page of Pentacles and the Page of Cups coming in with a solid, tangible offer for the long haul, long term, wanting to really commit and work on this, building a firm foundation, moving forward, lifelong partner here, and a lot of love here, love and communication, and the soulmates coming together. Lovers, soulmates, wow. Virgo, Virgo, Virgo. And that's your energy. So you may be the one that have to approach this person slowly. Okay. Nine of cups, so wish fulfillment. Water energy now. Happiness, joy, contentment, fulfillment, and wishes and dreams coming true. Wow. Knight of pentacles. So again... Now you have the page, the knight, and the king. Wow. So 
like I said, taking it slow, approaching this person very slowly with this offer. Now here I come very slowly and offering, you know, this love, this long-term commitment very slowly, gradually to this person because they, they are in that energy too. They see you as their lifelong partner with the Ten of Pentacles. Wow. Let's see what else now. Well, the Three of Cups. So this is coming together. This is, I mean, I don't know if there's a third party here. I'm not really sensing that, but, um, you know, this is just rejoicing, reuniting, coming together, celebrating, you know, maybe finally having this conversation and truly telling each other how you feel about one another. Maybe you're afraid they don't feel the same way and maybe they're afraid you don't feel the same way, but deep down you both do. And then this is the celebrating and the rejoicing and being so happy coming together, uh, reuniting or rejoicing, celebrating. Wow. Yes, I feel the same way, going out, having a few drinks, being happy and joyous. Maybe telling them over um, dinner and a few drinks, you know, loosen them up a little bit. <laughs> All right. So Knight of Wands. So again, you know, and I had said, you know, Knight of Wands can sometimes be considered a player, fire energy here. So again, with the passion and playfulness, you know, maybe right now, you may be only seeing one another, but you don't really know that. Maybe, you know, you don't tell that to one another. But again, with the Knight of Wands being that very passionate, playful, in and out kind of energy, but deep down wanting more, wanting growth, wanting stability, wanting a lifelong partner, wanting to commit. Wow. And, and I just said commit, and here's the commitment, the Hierophant. This Taurus now could be marriage, commitment in the future here between the two of you. And the Ten of Pentacles is marriage, can be marriage in the future here. And there's the offer. And usually that can be a proposal, you know, or something like that. And you have it, you have the page with the offer. You have the knight coming forward with, and the king standing strong and steady with that offer. And then the marriage, wow, this could lead to a proposal in marriage for you, Virgo. All right, so let's see what's on the bottom of the deck. Eight of Cups. So, you know, this is walking away from something, but then you can always walk to something more fulfilling um, kind of energy here. So maybe there's just a need here to walk away from this playful in and out player energy and walk towards, you know, this stable energy that you, you both want because you have the Wheel of Fortune. So I do feel like this is divinely guided soulmates here you know, luck, fortune, uh, fate, destiny, uh, divine timing, things going in a better direction here, things going in your favor, growth, expansion, fortune. Wow. So you can walk in the right direction here. Take that action you need to take to turn this wheel in the right direction. Because right now, nobody's saying anything. Everybody's kind of, both of you kind of like not coming forward with the offer, not really communicating, not really saying just feeling kind of blah, you know, doing this in and out energy. But really deep down, you both want more. So again, you know, willing to put in the hard work with the Seven of Pentacles and being patient with this person. Slow, steady, hard work, being very patient. So, yeah, I mean, and then we have the Hermit. So going in, reflecting, doing inner journey work, uh, knowing what you want, thinking things through. Virgo energy, that's your energy. So really think about here how you want to approach this person because you are guided to tell them you just want to be solely committed to them. And you really need to think about how you need to approach them, what you need to say, how you need to say it. And then you have the Empress energy. And this is, I believe, Virgo and... Nope, that's Libra and Taurus. So, um, so yeah, I mean, again... You could have marriage with this person, and then you could have a family. Empress bears children, it's growth, expansion, mother of the deck, embodies all the queens of the deck, very empress-like energy. So, yep. I do feel here fate, destiny here. Nobody's saying anything, though. But, you know, just take it very slow and really think about how you want to approach this person. All right, Virgo, let's get some extra guidance and advice for you. 
Virgo, second half of August. This love connection. Love connection. Virgo, second half of August. What do we have for Virgo? What guidance, advice do we have for Virgo spirit? Please, thank you so much. What do we have for Virgo? Second half of August. Advice or guidance for Virgo, please. For Virgo, please. Oh, wow. Lost three cards. It's a lot. <sighs> So we have cycles, so, and then we have complicated, and then we have wishing. So maybe things are complicated right now between the two of you. I don't know what's going on in each of your life separately. So maybe, you know, an 11 here, and then that's two, two people coming together as one. Um, so whatever complicating issues right now, cycles are closing and changing, closing out, new cycles will begin, seven and three, 10. Begin, uh, endings and new beginnings because then 10 equals 1 1 plus zero, 1 so endings and new beginnings so cycles closing out new cycles starting things may be complicated however that means for you whatever your situation is their situation is or just between you whatever whatever or however you're complicating this for no reason um, but here's wishing so again 1 9 endings beginnings so you both are wishing and hoping for more but making it more complicated than it really needs to be because a new cycle can begin here with the two of you just being totally committed to uh, one another. So let's see. Uh, let me put this one here. Put these down here. Let's see what's on the bottom of the deck. High Priestess of Air. Six. So six is a very healing, balancing number. Again, with the healing and the balancing. And six, high priestess of air. And Mercury is air energy. So, and high priestess energy is all about higher knowing, intuition, um, trusting your gut, um, trusting in source, divine energy, spirit, angel, team. And air is that communication. That's that truth, that clarity. So knowing, you know, truth, clarity, conversations need to be had here uh, and you know that I feel like you know that so your advice is to really come forward with your love proposal and I see the soulmates coming together you may have to take a slow practical approach with this person for some reason there's something complicating this but I do feel you're both wishing for the same thing of this commitment Virgo Virgo. All right. If this didn't resonate for you, you can uh, look in the description box for past readings for your sign. Uh, disregard the time uh, dates. I do consider them timeless. And uh, maybe something there will resonate for you. If you do like how I read, if you like my style, my energy, please do like, share, subscribe, comment. I love to read the comments. And um, hit the bell. You'll be notified when I post readings. I do bi-weekly general and love, so don't miss out on that. Best of luck to you here, um, Virgo, in this love connection. Sending you many light, love, and blessings. And as I always say with my channel, it's always, always shining a light.